Hello beautiful people, how's it going? I'm back with another video and today we are watching Dawn of the Planet of the Apes for the very first time. If you guys are new to my channel, hello, I'd like to show you this statistic. Almost 70% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel, so you should consider subscribing. Of course, if you want to see the uncut reaction to this movie, you can pledge to me on Patreon down below. If you want to speak to me directly, you can follow me on Instagram and send me a DM over there. And of course, if you want to join the Discord, it's one big group chat, it's a lot of fun. Have fun, the link is in the description box below without wasting any more of your time this movie was really really interesting if you have fever and cough stay home oh goodness i wish people listened to that advice was accidentally exposed to retrovirus alz 113 yeah i guess that's the guy from the last movie goodness the virus has gone everywhere now 150 million in the next six to eight months Anyone show that is a lot of people dying goodness Oh god. It amazes me how real these apes look. That is such a beautiful shot. Apes riding horses is something I never knew I needed, but I'm so glad I got. <laughs> and they reproduced, so this is never ending. <laughs> ape not kill ape. Oh, oh God, that's adorable. I guess that's Caesar's son. They've completely learned sign language. It's unbelievable how intelligent these apes are. Oh God. <gasps> Why did they need to show us that? That's horrible. Oh my God. Why did you need to kill them? Ah, uh, I don't like people. I don't like people. <laughs> Get wrecked. Such an amazing shot. That is wondrous to behold. We don't mean any harm! Really? Every time he speaks, I get chills every time. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Someone commented on my video, on my original video, that Tom Felton wasn't the only Harry Potter actor in this. If you guys want to know how I feel about Gary Oldman, just please watch my Dark Knight videos. He spoke! That is not possible. Oh, come on. It really is possible, Gary. I don't want to create a panic. I really hope I'm not going to have problems with Gary Oldman in this movie. Again, the CGI in this movie is so spectacular. You have to credit these people who probably work day and night for years to get this movie out. And they did an amazing job. You guys know what I'm going to say, so I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> I do not want war! It's true, they don't. They just want to be left alone. Wow, they are so honorable. They just came to return his bag. I love this. Do not come back. I agree. I just think they don't they don't need to how do I say this? The humans don't need to interfere with the section of the world that the apes have taken over. If I were if I were a human being if I was a human being. You know what? Just ignore everything I just said. <laughs> Oh, poor Gary Oldman is being too pressured right now. It's not just about keeping the lights on. It's about giving us the tools to the rest of the world to find out who else is out there. I do feel really bad for Gary Oldman. I do. Which I'm kind of glad about. I didn't want him to be a villain in this movie, and I hope he isn't. Because I love this man too much to see him as a villain, and it would just really upset me. <laughs> the idea of losing what little I have is going up there. I do also feel bad for him too. At least this movie is giving me compelling human characters that I can actually understand and relate to. You're not back in three days. We're going up there. I'm not gonna kill every last one. Again, I said, don't turn him into a villain. I'm not back in two hours. You get everyone back to the city. Oh no, is he gonna die? <laughs> yep, yep, I would be terrified. <laughs> Oh, Caesar drew his window. Did you see that? 
He drew his window. If I could just show you, then you'll understand. I think he's being completely genuine. And I like this. I like this protagonist. I'm not a threat. If I am, then I guess you can kill me. Yeah, he's confident he's not a threat. I like that. I really do like this protagonist. He seems like a nice guy who just wants the light. I like it. Is this dirtbag really going to do this again? <laughs> yeah, say no to guns, kids. Human, work! You don't want to start a fight with Caesar, man. They already killed off half the planet already. You can't honestly blame the apes. You blame the humans who created this virus. What are you saying? Didn't you have a little girl? Carver, that's enough. How'd she die? What is his problem? What is his problem? That is actually, wow, what a horrible person. These baby apes are the cutest things I've ever seen. They knew what they had in the first one. They decided to give it to us in the second one and I'm so happy about it. Such an excellent shot. How did they even film that? Wow. Come on, come on. Oh God, it's time for war. I love him. I love him. I love these apes. I'm really sorry. Now I have you and your dad. That's really pure. I like all of the humans. Well, not all of them, but most of the humans in this movie, which is a good thing because it makes me brute for both sides. <laughs> I guess you need the apes to save you now, huh? <laughs> See, the apes are nice. They genuinely do not want to harm anybody. We've got a lot of debris to clear now. We might need a bit more time. That baby is adorable. Oh my God. This baby is adorable. <laughs> He's beautiful. Hey, what are you doing? You finished? What's his problem? Oh God, I hate this guy. <gasps> hey, hey! Mm. What, 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 what's your problem? Oh my god. Oh. Nice. Nice. Go! Go, Caesar, no! Caesar, kill him. He did say no guns. He has a right to throw it away. That was the agreement. Leave. No! Yeah, he broke the rule. I'm fine with it, to be honest. That's his wife, right? I guess his wife is dying? She's sick. I feel so bad for him. I have medicine. Oh, maybe she can help. That would be so amazing, the collaboration between them. I would really love that. You stay one day. Compromise. Again, I love Caesar so much. What? Apes! In danger! Yeah, I totally see his perspective. I totally see it. We don't need this fight right now. We don't need this conflict between the apes. They need to stay together. Did he kill him? Is he dying? No, no! Okay. If he killed him, that would have been a problem. Ape don't kill ape. For yesterday. Oh, I do love some of these humans in this movie, man. I really like this. This kegger down at the swimming hole. It's so amazing to see this cooperation between the apes and the humans. It's wonderful to see. I thought this movie was going to be completely one versus the other, and that would be amazing and cool, but it's great to see that at least they're trying to cooperate and at least trying to have a good relationship. Not all humans are bad. I am glad that we're seeing that. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Again. Wait, wait. Is that alcohol? Oh my god. Oh. 
everything just blew up. Oh my god, this just ruined everything, didn't it? Everything I just said two seconds ago about the cooperation. It wasn't the humans, it was the apes. But then again, not all the humans are good. But goodness, this is so bad. This is so bad. No. <laughs> they got the light back. I'm happy for them. Trust. He trusts him. Again, this is the collaboration. The cooperation that I really wanted. And it makes me really happy. You son of a bitch! Oh dear. <laughs> get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. He deserved that. Love that. <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing, man? Oh. <gasps> no! Oh no! Oh my god. Oh my god, man. And to think it was an ape who started all of this conflict, it wasn't the humans. That is so shocking to me. You think this movie is gonna go in one direction. It was them who turned on each other. It's like civil war all over again. <laughs> And the humans are celebrating while the chaos is happening on the other side. This movie is so complicated. There's always room for a stellar Gary Oldman performance. I respect this man as an actor, as a person, in every single way, shape, and form. And I don't think anybody will ever understand my love for him. <laughs> what is it? The apes attack the armory, sir. <laughs> Yeah, this is not gonna end well for anybody, for anybody, absolutely anybody. This is chaos now. Now they may have got their hands on some of our guns, but that does not make them men! Uh, about that. <laughs> this is absolute chaos, and it's an amazing shot. It's mad. That is a really cool shot, but this is too much violence. I see the point where this ape is coming from, but this is not the way. You are going completely against everything Caesar built to, to have this world where people can live on their own. This ape is this bad ape or something. Like he is not, he is not good. He is not a good ape. He is a bad ape. If you showed me this shot before I watched the movie, I would have said it's amazing, but in context, this is so bad. You are literally a nurse. Do something. He's clearly alive. Malcolm! There you go. I feel so bad for him. He's crying. <laughs> No, 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 please don't. Please don't, man. No. No, even the apes don't want to do that. I'm I'm getting really upset now. Oh. No. Why are you doing this, man? This is too far. No. 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 Ya Allah! No! God! Oh, that one really disturbed me. I don't know, man. That one really disturbed me. I didn't like that at all. We just need a place to hide him until we find out what's going on at home. Oh my god! <laughs> You're kidding. I didn't think we were going to come back here. This makes me so happy. Oh, James. <laughs> you will know life in cage. Oh, he has been traumatized before in the first film. But again, this doesn't justify this. 
This poor ape. I really loved him teaching. Is it him or her now that I think about it? He was the teacher. No, don't shoot. What are you doing, man? This hurts my heart so much. Not human. Yeah. It was the ape. Koba. Koba did it. Goodness, Koba. I always think ape better than human. Hmm. Sometimes you can't trust all of your kind. This was a tough lesson for Caesar to learn. Where? Koba, no. Yeah, you need to go. You need to go do this. You need to fix this, man. Me. Help you. They are getting so advanced. They are learning to talk. It's amazing. Caesar is back, baby. That's an amazing signal. I like it. Oh. I miss James Franco in this. Even though I did have a feeling that he wasn't going to be in this one. I had a feeling. Who was that? A good man. He was. The squad has returned. I'm so excited. Trust. I love that parallel. We just started selling them. They're going to take down the whole tower. <gasps> no. Last them all at once. No, Gary Oldman. I believed in you. No. Anybody hear me? One. Okay. Okay. This is this is some conflict. We need to give him some time. I agree. I totally agree. <laughs> it's wartime. Apes win war. Maybe not. Maybe not. If they don't follow Caesar, in my opinion. Cobra. Weaker. Ooh, I love that line. I really love that line. That was so patronizing. Ah! No! Ah, too much violence. Are you out of your mind? Oh my goodness. I've never heard Gary Oldman swear. Caesar! Brother to human. No, that's not true. Come on. Well, he's a brother to everybody, and I respect that about him. Koba, fight for Koba. Mmm, ah! he's selfish. I agree. Ah! Oh, that, that was a boxing jab, man. Oh my god. No! This is so sick, man. Now we make contact to military base up north. Oh my god. Travis! No, 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 no. What, you're gonna blow yourself up too? This is the bigger picture idea? Come on, Gary Oldman. I'm saving the human race. No, you're not. First time I see Gary Oldman die where I don't cry. That is a beautiful shot. Come on, Caesar, quickly. Come on. Koba's really pissing me off this movie. Wow. Whoa. What? What? Oh, it's the end of Koba. This is the end of Koba. Not kill Really? No, no. You are not a. That's what I was thinking. That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. Has already begun. I agree. That's what I've been saying this entire movie. You must go. Caesar is such a noble guy. Well, ape. He's amazing. He actually is my favorite character. My favorite character in this movie is an ape who can really articulate his language, by the way. <laughs> that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. I love that baby so much. 
This movie is unbelievable, man. Wow, we're zooming in right where we started. That's an amazing way to end this movie. One of the main reasons I found this movie absolutely enthralling was because this movie gave me a different perspective and a different idea and concept as to what I was expecting when I started. I thought this movie was going to be about a war between apes and humans. It wasn't. The idea that the betrayal came from Koba because Koba felt that Caesar was getting too close to the humans and prioritizing them over the apes was a genius plotline for me. Because I know that there is a third movie in this franchise, which is War for the Planet of the Apes. That should be the one where it's humans versus apes. The second one should have been something in the middle. And what perfect way to make a, a middle story, which by the way feels like its own thing and is absolutely stellar even without the first film, is to create conflict within your inner circle. It's always your friends who stab you in the back, that kind of concept. It's very interesting to me. And I felt this movie needed that and did it very well. One thing I loved about this film was the fact that the human characters are very well established. For me personally, the only human characters in the first film that were established were James Franco and the actor who plays his dad. They were really great. This movie, every single one, the dad, the son, the girlfriend, they all had amazing arcs. Gary Oldman had an amazing arc. He wasn't utilized as much. I would have liked for him to be utilized more, but you guys know that's just because I love Gary Oldman and I eat up anything he gives me. I love Gary Oldman, love him so much. My serious black, always and forever, but you guys already knew that. The visual effects on this film, and the film before, but this one especially, are so advanced. It feels like every movie they get better and better, and it is unbelievable. These apes look so real to me. This film is not a fantasy in my mind. It feels so real because these apes look so realistic. Even when they speak, it just looks so realistic. Everything Koba did in this movie blew my mind. I will be honest, I hated him, but he was hilarious at times, and then he just shocked you. That scene, I don't think I've ever been this disturbed on my channel, even when I reacted to horror movies, the scene where he threw that poor ape over the over over the stairs, that was horrifying. Even re-watching my reaction, it just really, 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 really shocked me. And I really loved the progression of this story, giving us this all out war between apes and apes and then humans on the other side. This movie was absolute chaos. And I think that's what I wanted, but it was also a very well constructed three arc story. And it was so nice going back to Caesar's home, seeing Caesar have a son and another son, seeing his wife sick. Just the idea that these humans and these apes collaborated to both get something out of each other. The humans helped Caesar save his wife and Caesar helped the humans get light back. It really is beautiful, in my opinion, to see a story about collaboration, especially in a time like now where I think that's all we need. It's really, really great. And this movie was made, what, 2014 this movie was made. I can't believe I missed out on this, but I actually kind of am glad that I did because now I get to have it on YouTube, inshallah, forever for both of you guys and me to see and come back to. I don't know if you guys know this, I come back to my videos when I miss a certain movie. So I was missing Back to the Future last week. I rewatched all of my reactions instead of watching the actual movies myself. It saves up a lot of time, especially since I, especially this week, have been super busy editing my WandaVision reaction. I've just been trying to make sure it's perfect, perfect, perfect. So inshallah, it never gets, uh, you know, you know, you know what I'm fighting against. Um, and so it's really nice. And inshallah, I'll get to have this video, the WandaVision reaction, and every other reaction I've ever done on my channel forever, safe and healthy. I really, really, really did love this movie. And I wanted to say thank you all if you guys clicked this video. Sometimes my channel goes on ups and downs, but the one thing that is consistent is all of my beautiful people. You guys, you guys stick with me. You guys show me love and affection and everything. And so it makes me really, really happy that you guys stuck with me on this journey. Of course, as always, I love you all so much. And hopefully I'll get to see you in a couple of days if you guys want to see me react to 
War for the Planet of the Apes. And then after, I have no idea. We could do Mission Impossible. We could do James Bond. We could continue Fast and Furious. I don't know. I don't know where my channel is going to take me. I also wanted to try doing movie commentaries for movies I love. More specifically, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Because I've been on a bit of a binge. I've been on a bit of a rage of Marvel movies. And especially since, you know, WandaVision. It's really, really gotten me back in the Marvel game. And it's something I missed. And so I considered maybe doing commentaries to that later on in the future when I run out of movies to watch for the first time. But again, there are so many that I haven't seen yet. So I think we're just going to stick to that for now. I also really thought about doing video essays. That is something that I've always really wanted to do. And so I considered doing it. And I am not sure how you guys will feel about it. But hopefully you guys will join me on this journey, no matter what journey it is. But don't worry, movie reactions are still happening all the time. That is something that, inshallah, I'm never going to let go of. It is something that I love doing. And it really does help me analyze movies. I get to watch it once with you guys. I get to upload it on Patreon. People get to see it. And then I get to edit it again, which is basically re-watching the movie, which is why editing takes so long especially today I don't know why this this video in particular took so long to edit I've been editing it for two days it's really exhausted me but I'm just really happy it's all done now so that explains why I look a little tired if you guys feel that way I'm really really sorry but again if you guys made it to the end of this video comment Koba is no ape because he's not that line was amazing man amazing cinematography amazing script amazing directing amazing visual effects these movies are 10 out of 10 films they really are especially this one this one really did do better than the first in my opinion even with the woman i mean who the hell was that woman in that first movie she only had like three lines and then we were supposed to care about her in the end when that police officer was messing with her I, <laughs> I'm just glad they fixed that with this movie and gave us a really compelling relationship between the human man and the human woman. I genuinely don't know their names. <laughs> but anyways, I love you all so much. If you made it to the end, comment, Koba is no ape. Because he's not, traitor. <laughs> I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.